Well, happy Friday, good people. And uh, we are going to talk a little bit about the football history game development uh, that we're going to have going on here with the uh, football history video game. And um, But before we get into that, I just cannot I'd be remiss if I didn't say that I'm so happy that we're releasing our football coaching simulator tomorrow, July 30th, and we are going to have the launch party. I'm going to send out, I um, be looking at the channel, I'm going to send out a um, video, put out a video uh, two hours before the launch. It's going to be, we're on Central Standard Time, so 4 p.m. Central Standard Time, uh, 6 p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time, and you know what that is in the West and so on. So um, we're going to do that. We're going to put that out, and then uh, we're going to have... Um, the, the launch uh, party going on. We're going to cover a lot of things in there. So uh, we're going to be on for about an hour. And so I want you guys to come out, you know, talk with us and just chat. You know, if you want to just ask some questions and whatnot, that would be great. We're going to do a little bit of that and, um, you know, get into that. But but we're going to also wanted to get into what we're going to do with the game, too. I'm really uh, enjoying uh, then what we're going to be doing with the video game. It's not going to be like your regular uh, games that you've been playing all along. Uh, we're going to add some uh, fun factor in here. We're going to have uh, a lot of different probability thing, uh, things that's going to go on in, in our video game. And uh, we're going to make it so it's uh, you got good replay value. I think that's the main thing that I'd like to see in a uh, video game is that you want to play it over and over and over again. And we're going to try to create that type of look and feel uh, with that we have uh, weather effects that we're going to have in there um, along with you know player injuries uh, you know almost we're going to treat this like a uh, RPG uh, tactical game if you will so if you if you like uh, anything like uh, you, you looked at with um, the soccer version of like football manager something like that well we want to do something similar to that for American football and um, you know we've got a lot of different ideas that we're going to implement. Not all of them will be implemented at once, but these apple these these uh, ideas will be implemented throughout the course of the uh, development cycle of the football history video game. And so I'm really looking forward to that. I I love what we're doing with the customization. Um, that's going to be second to none. We're going to make it better. Uh, we're going to add. Um, some customization of the grandstands and the stadiums and everything like that. We want to do that. Um, don't know if we'll have that in for this iteration, uh, the new iteration coming forward, but we're, we're going to put some things and some items in there like that. And uh, we're going to prove the uh, animations that are in there, use more physics, uh, things like that that we're going to use. But I don't want the game to be arcadey or anything like that so we're not going for that type of look and feel because that's not what this game is all about this game is a tactical strat a strategic game kind of uh, born from all the uh, board games that i played in the past like stratomatic uh, appa football uh, games like that and that's what this is but it's going to be a graphical electronic 3d version of all of that um, and uh, the beautiful thing about what we're doing with the video game is um, we're taking things from the simulator like for instance we have the you know the play creator uh, I think this is gonna be second to none in there the play creator uh, and we just got to make some improvements in here with that I like the fact that we can flip plays um, and then you'll be able to create your own plays save them to a playbook and just like you would in the simulator and then you can run them uh, run them in uh, 2d so you see how the players move there or you can run them in 3d um, and that's the I think the core of what we're doing here and so um, that's that's a uh, I want this to be fun for everybody and it is a different type of game it's a different type of game it's not like your regular games uh, so there's going to be some uh, difference to this uh, as, a, as opposed to other games that are out there. And so, um, you know, you're going to see a lot of different things go on here. So look for that. And um, this version right here, it looks like uh, 
what I like about the customization too, by the way, is importing all the teams in and out of the, the, the game. Because if you bought the simulator, you'll be able to build teams within the simulator and then you can import them into the, um, the video game. So for instance, if you wanted to go and, uh, up and bring in a, a, a team from, um, that you built that was in 1960 or something like that, you can, um, you can do that. You can go in there and uh, import and export a team. And um, that's the good thing that I like about what we're doing here because uh, there's a lot of fun factor involved in that. So I created some teams in here. I think I've shown this in other videos and everything like that. I'll just randomly pull up a team here, uh, a set of teams. And basically, you know, when you pull these teams in, you'll have them. When we do the game, each team will have their home away and then they're going to have a alternate uniform. This is basically coming from the simulator where we're pitting two teams together. But you'll be able to go in and, um, you know, go. You'll, you, you'll be able to go in here, add your uh, logos that we have existing. So if you go in and, and hit, uh, let's say, a side logo here, if you go in and uh, add a logo, you can add one of, you know, the logos that we have there uh, you can put that logo on let's say both sides or, or one side or the other and then um, you know you can add your own logos or uh, the logos that we have built in I think we have about 45 logos built into this uh, simulator already and and we're gonna have um, a lot of these I designed uh, these these logos and and you'll be able to use those as you wish and you can also import your own logos too so if we went here and did um click down on the box here and you and say user provided images and we go in here and uh grab a, the folder where we have all of our user provided images at uh for instance i have some images here sitting over in the uniform helmet designs and i'll just go in here real quick and you won't see anything and uh, but if you click on the um, select folder button down there which you can't see on the video but um, you'll bring in all these images that you have in that folder so if I wanted to pull an image out of there you know I can just pull any image I want out of there out of that folder and um, bring it into the um, to the um, the video game and that's that's cool I mean that this I mean that's just you, you don't see that with a lot of uh, video games at all I mean so uh, say I uh, pull that uh, this one here in there and yeah there it is and so all I have to do then is um, you know just click off of that I can change colors and stuff like that but let's just say I just save that and then I just go home and run a play in this instance uh, I'll try that one. and then click on 3d and you'll see your images on the helmet like that I mean that's that's so easy and so cool and that's why I wanted to do this because I wanted to make uh, these images you know and and the, the ease to be able to decorate things in here really easy I wanted that to be the cornerstone of what we're doing and with our video game as well so uh, we'll send out that um, that video uh, that will announce uh, the launch the the launch of the simulator which will be tomorrow uh, and uh, I want you guys to be there uh, on the launch party uh, six o'clock Eastern Standard Time four o'clock Central Standard Time I'd love you guys to be there um, and then we can talk some football some things that are gonna we're gonna do in the future we've got a whole laundry list of things but again we don't boil the ocean here at Java prints we just pretty much you know take things in pieces and it may take us a little bit longer to get things done but the good thing is we're gonna get it done as we have with the simulator and we're gonna make it look nice and that that's what I'm going for the the look and feel and also the playability too so we're gonna do a lot of testing on uh, gameplay ideas and things like that so we'll see you guys soon um thanks for sticking with us thanks for so if you, you see um if you like this channel you like the video and everything please like and subscribe to us and everything and uh we'll see you in the next video and we'll talk to you soon